what's up guys it's time for another day's where lash reaction video still coming to you live from my office just a different way because the sun is very bright in my shade <laughs> and you can see where my chair has messed up the wall brilliant <laughs> anyways so what's up we haven't talked in two weeks wow yeah, because of the Olympics. Did anybody watch the Olympics? I didn't see much of it. I saw some skating and some um, skiing and made me nervous when they were going all fast and stuff. I'm like, that'd be some shit if they crash. But I guess it wouldn't hurt too bad because, you know, snow is kind of soft. I don't know. But anyway, she didn't come here to talk about the Olympics. We came to talk about days. And I really did miss days when it was gone. It's just like, okay, it's not on, so what? But I was really glad to see it back. But boy, was that boring as fuck or was it just me? <laughs> it was a very, very, very weak week for me. Weak, weak. Okay. So, it wasn't that good of a week, especially returning from being off for two weeks. But, of course, um, some people assumed that they knew that um, Days was going to be off for the Olympics. But that was a true run. Cleared it up on Twitter that they weren't, they didn't know about um, them having to go on a break for the Winter Olympics until after they had already filmed the scenes. So that's why we didn't get a really good cliffhanger, and that's why we have a very, very weak week this week. <laughs> but the highlights of the week was seeing Eli. I haven't seen Eli in over a month. The last time I remember seeing him was when he was babysitting the twins so Lonnie could go to, um, Chanel's party when Joe Devil took over or was already had to taken over Johnny and he couldn't have his beer <laughs> so he went on vacation <laughs> no, I forgot what they said I guess he went away for work or something but he was back this week and he learned about um Lonnie's biological father T.R. being in town so he went and put his ass on notice <laughs> like a very, very good husband would do. And he was looking sexy, too. It looked even better if he had took a shirt off. You know, we need a reminder of what his chest muscles look like because it's been so long. Yeah, he doesn't walk around in a towel anymore. Now that Chanel moved out, he's like, oh, y'all don't need to see me in a towel no more. Um, Eli, you need to get on that. Lonnie, come on, girl. You know what we like to see. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really good. She still considers Abe to be her real father, which is good. Because I still think that this TR guy is kind of like a poop head. <laughs> but um, we got to see, we got to see all the black people this week. <laughs> Abe, <clears throat> um, Paulina. Called Abe over and she filled him in about um, TR being in town and everything, and he didn't look very excited. So I'm looking forward to seeing those two. That'd be fun. <laughs> but Anna is kind of like in her herself into this. Well, she doesn't know the whole story about um, TR and stuff, but she encouraged him to um, <clears throat> seek a relationship with Lonnie. But oh, Anna. You're going to learn when you find out the truth, girl. <laughs> but, yeah, that was the only really interesting storyline I saw this week. But, well, I guess Friday with the um, Chanel, Alley and Trip drama. <laughs> well, we don't know. Trip doesn't know there's drama because he doesn't know the Alley. And Chanel got it on. <laughs> but he's proposing to Allie, which I forgot that he had talked to Roman about that a few weeks ago. But the ring is ugly, but it's a family heirloom, so, okay. And Chanel is, like, not even hinting that she and Allie got it on. She's helping Tripp set up the whole um, engagement thing. 
um, to make her some cosmos because she's going to need to be drunk to handle the proposal, I guess. I guess. <laughs> but Anna let it out the bag that he was proposing because she found, um, Allie, I found Ava in the square crying fake. Fake ass crying. Because, <laughs> um, Nicole went off on her and, um, she told her, Nicole told Eva that her and Rafe got it on on Halloween. And, of course, they had to do a flashback. But I kept my face down. I'm, like, eating my salad. <laughs> I was just like, is it over, Tommy? It's over. <laughs> so I totally missed that part. But, unfortunately, I had to hear them talk in the station. <laughs> so, yes, Rafe's trial is about to start and stuff. And... I don't really care. <laughs> oh, but speaking of jailbirds, I thought, I, I believe I did say it on here. It would be funny if EJ's um, cellmate was Clyde, and it was. <laughs> so I was like, oh, for, some reason, I, for some reason, I thought that um, EJ did know that Clyde was behind him dying, or somebody did, but I guess nobody knows that. Because they did the whole flashback. Well, a fake flashback. Because we know Dan wasn't EJ at the time. James was. So they redid that scene. And so he thinks some just random drug dude killed him. Killed him. So. So. What is EJ going to do when he finds out that Clyde was behind it? So. I don't know. But they did show. Um. The um, Demir Island drama, um, and we know that reason why Sarah is so nice to Kristen is because she thinks that she's um, what is it? They named what's her name? Renee, I think it was Renee. Um, some woman that was in love with Tony years ago, and. Don't doesn't like Anna very much. <laughs> she remembers Kayla, but you know she doesn't realize that it's not year. I don't know what year it was, but she was reading some books. So I'm guessing that was in the book. I don't know. I was barely paying attention to those scenes. Click. Just think, oh, it's so horrible that Days continues to write storylines where people don't know who they are. That's just so motherfucking boring to me. I'm sorry. All these amnesia storylines. We had Will, Jack, Sierra. Um, then we had Kristen pretend to be everybody in town. And now Sarah doesn't know who the fuck she is. And, um... Lordy, Xander proposed to Lordy, Abby's sister, was like Gwen, <laughs> I forgot people's name, Gwen, and J um, Jack shows up and he's all happy for her, after he basically accused her, <laughs> knowing something about um, Abby's whereabouts, which she does know, but it no, doesn't matter, but I mean, that's basically all that happened this week. A very, very <laughs> Oh, but on the plus side, um Ben and Sierra figured out that the devil is in Johnny, so see how that goes. You know that I do love my sin and the uh, their cinnamon. <laughs> But I really need them to do something more with them because they're kind of boring. I'm saying. They make me feel depressed that I stay at home all the time. And I don't like people. So that is pretty bad. I'm just saying. But, oh, but oh, yeah, it was good to see John and Marlena this week. They were. Ooh. I'll be on keep for Valentine's Day and then um what's her face? Um Nancy came in and started crying to Marlena that um Craig is top for guys and not her 
<laughs> so, but um, Craig's lover is supposed to be coming to town, I guess, next week. Um, he's already on the plane, so. I, it would be so fucking funny if it was Leo. <laughs> so I just have a feeling that Craig's lover is just some goofy person. It's not really serious. He's either like a really goofy person or he's some, I don't know, I'm sticking to goofy. So I'm Team Leo. <laughs> But anyways, um, shut up. <laughs> I just miss Leo. <laughs> What's so wrong? I love Greg Gregard. He's just awesome. And when Days was on a break, when Days was off for um, the Olympics, I was watching Young and Restless, where he plays Kevin. Well, at least I thought he did, but I haven't seen him in a while. Apparently, he's still on the show because I was talking about asking where Kevin was and People were saying that they wish they could see Kevin too, so I assume he still works there. But, anyways, time will tell. And but that's all I had to say about days this week. Let me know in the comments below what did you love and what you didn't love. And if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you as always. I love you guys so much. And it's Saturday, so enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I will see you back here next week. Alright, love y'all. Bye!